Hey everybody. So this is just gonna be a quick tutorial on how to install Jasp on Mac OS. So we're just gonna jump over into my Mac OS desktop. So here I am. And the first thing that we're going to want to do is we want to open up our favorite browser, probably Safari, possibly Chrome, maybe even Firefox. And we're going to open it up and we're going to search for Jasp, J-A-S-P. Now, I didn't even have to go and search for it. The first link that would come up would be to Jasp, but mine just took me right to the page. Now, the nice thing about Jasp is that there's one big button on the screen that says download Jasp. Once I do that, I can see the latest version of it. And then we've got my options under Mac OS here for either Intel or Apple Silicon. Now, if you've got a recent M1 or M2 or even M3 Mac, you're going to want to use this one. If you've got an older Intel Mac, you're going to want to use this link. Now, the way you can tell is by going up to your Apple icon and you can click on about this Mac and just look at what type of processor it is. Now, mine, it doesn't say, but it's an older Intel processor. Yours will say M1 or M2 or M3 if it's an uh, Apple Silicon. So for me, I'm going to select Intel. You are probably going to want to select Apple Silicon. So when you do that, it will download. It may ask you if it's going wants to allow downloads from jaspstats.org. Um, if it does, just click yes. And then it'll be downloading into your downloads folder. Now, once that's complete, we'll come back here and we'll install it. All right, now that it's finished, I'm just going to go ahead and close Safari here. And now we'll be able to find it down here in our downloads, or I can go over to Finder and find it in our downloads folder here. So I'm just going to go down to the downloads, it's easy, and click on that. And we can see that it's a DMG file or a disk image. And that opens up this little disk image up here and it opens up this window down here. It shows like a JASP icon and our application shortcut. And all we really need to do is drag this JASP icon and drop it on top of our applications folder here. Now, when we do that, it will copy JASP over to the applications. It'll take just a couple of minutes because it's fairly big. And once it's finished, we're going to be able to launch it directly from the applications folder here or by going down to our launch pad down here. So in about 10 seconds, we should be done. OK, now that it's completed, I'm just going to close these things up. I don't need to have this open anymore and I can eject this disk image. And not only that, I can drag it from my downloads into my trash. I no longer need that file anymore. Now we can find and launch Jasp by going to our launch pad and then scrolling over and finding our latest installation of Jasp. Now, once we click on that, it'll probably ask me if it's okay for me to run this program that I've downloaded from the internet. It's just verifying it right now. And once it's done that, it should be okay. And it might ask me whether that's okay to run. We can see that it's an app downloaded for the internet. Are you sure you want to open it? And I'm going to say open. Yes, that's okay. Checking for updates. Sure, it's going to check for updates on the server for new versions. I'm going to say yes to that each time I open it. And that's fine. So now, We've got JASP open and you can go ahead and start using it as necessary. So I hope this has given you a little bit of an idea of how to get up and running with JASP and you can start running your stats using JASP.